here that claims to be a speed control but it doesn't do anything and I'm a bit wary about taking this whole thing to bits I think there'll be a, a tinkle at some point as the screws run down where all the bits fell into a heap on the bench and I don't really fancy that and um, if the speed control isn't working I don't know how it works some kind of variable resistance or whatever in there anyway I'm not too confident that I'd be able to sort that out so I'm going to use a separate voltage speed controller eBay less than five pounds including postage UK seller and actually less than half that if you buy it from China so this is that little um, voltage regulator 240 volt AC mains down to maybe 20 volts or something tiny little thing I just taped it to this board temporarily while I'm playing around with it and the fittings for the wires are screws going through a little plate not much room there really there's not enough room to wrap these fairly thick wires around the screw so I guess the options are to solder the ends of the wires push them under that plate and hope that they don't squeeze out the side but I've actually got some of these little things which will fit nicely between the um, spaces there the problem being that the little hole's too small for the screw so, enlarge the hole. I copied the um, in and out details from the eBay advertisement because they're not too obvious on the actual device itself. But anyway, uh, that's done now. Carefully checked. Okay, here's the test. Switch on load first, that's the projector. I'll go and switch on the mains. I hear something's happening. Uh, turn up the voltage. That seems to do the trick. I'll try the lamp with it. You can see that the bulb does dim somewhat with the speed control, but that's okay. Because I won't be controlling the speed to any extent while it's running. Then this is a Bellandhal Thulmovara 15 to 20 millimeter modest zoom f1.5 made in England. this shot down the digital editor and you can see there's a softening of focus on the right hand side don't think it's the camera you need to check that out it might be that the film's not sitting properly in the projector gate or it could be that zoom lens so when I've got that focus problem solved I think we could do some uh, telecine transfers film to video they'll be good enough for my purposes 